Aging like a fine wine, Luxembourg's Gilles Muller is enjoying life in his 30s. The past two seasons have seen some of the strongest results of his career. The last two years have, have been great. In 2015, I had my best year on the tour. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm having my best moments now and uh, I hope it's not finished yet. Everybody's getting so much more professional. The depth is so much bigger. So 20 years ago, a number 100 barely beats a number 20 in the world. Now is is a is normal every day. Now everybody has a team around them. So with a coach, with a physiotherapist, even sometimes with a fitness coach. So everything is getting so much more professional. And that's, I think, the reason why the older guys take more care of their body that they can play longer. With recent runs to the final in Sertogenbosch, the quarters at Queen's and the semi-finals in Nottingham, 2016 is looking bright for the 33-year-old too. Success all the more rewarding after overcoming injury. I've been healthy now for, for, for the first time in a long time because I had a lot of big injuries uh, in the last uh, five, six years. So this is the first time now that I've been able to, to, to play two straight seasons without any injuries. And I think this is helping me a lot. It's giving a lot of confidence to my body. Uh, for my mind as well and, and, and I'm just enjoying it. I'm, I'm feeling good on the court. I'm happy to go out there every day and, and, and practice as hard as I can and, and, and work as hard as I can. And I can feel it in matches that, that it's paying off. It's not just a sustained period of fitness that's helped Muller climb back into the world's top 50. Plenty of hard work has been put in to improve a game which is a danger for any opponent. My serve is one of my biggest weapons. Uh, I'm quite sure about that. And um, I think over the last uh, couple of years now, I also improved a lot in uh, using my surf better. Because I mean, before I had the surf was always the same, but maybe I was not using it as good as I do now. I go more often to the net. I'm trying to put more pressure on 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 on, on my opponents. Um, and also because I do that, I'm also trying to put more pressure on the returns. I really improved on that part of my game, and uh, it's helping me a lot for sure. He's risking always a lot with the serve, with, with the ground strokes, he's going for the shots, which is very attractive to watch, uh, but also, of course, sometimes a little bit dangerous if you don't have the right timing. But, uh, of course, he's a great player, he's there for so long. I, I used to play with him and it was always difficult to play because he doesn't give you so much of a rhythm. A player who knew all about rhythm on a tennis court was one of Muller's early inspirations. To go on and beat the man he grew up supporting was a magical moment. I was a huge fan of uh, Andre Agassi. One of my best memories ever is when I actually first played uh, Andre Agassi uh, in, in, in DC back in 2004, I think it was. And actually I beat him. I mean, that was quite, uh, uh, that's a memory that I will never forget for sure. Great memories from the past, but Gilles is focused on creating some new ones too. The ambition to claim a first ATP World Tour title burns as bright as ever. I'm sure he has the potential to win his first title, no, no doubt about that. That's the biggest goal I, I have for the, for the rest of my career, I think. So I've been very close last year, I think I played three or four semi-finals. So uh, getting to another final and try to win it is, is definitely the, the goal that I have. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, all the wonder of Wimbledon. And the man behind the scenes, Jimmy Delgado, talks about his role working with Andy Murray. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.